you know, the, the little multi-celled thing in the, you know, in the woman's womb there, it's not praying. Okay. Yeah. It's not communing with God. It's not self-aware. I mean, it's none of these things. Sure. A lot of these are all actually linked to brain function. And, and this view has actually been used by ethicists, some of whom will call themselves Christian, but many who won't, to say, look, this, that means life isn't sacred. I mean, you Christians are crazy. Life isn't sacred until you get brain development. Sure. And so you look, at, you look at Genesis from the very beginning, let us make yeah. man in our image. Yeah. You, know, you know, who's the us there? Because I've heard it taught, yeah. this is the Trinity. I know you're a Trinitarian. Like, is, is that the Trinity? You know, because I've heard it taught. Hey, the I, us there. Yeah, I don't think it is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can find a, a Genesis reference here really quickly. But I, I well, I, just in regard to the language of Genesis 1, 26, you know, let us create humankind, humanity, yes. you know, mankind, whatever your translation says, in our image. Yeah. You know, and, and our likeness. And then the next verse, it switches back to the singulars. Yes. So God created them in his image, in yes. his likeness. So it's, it's really weird because people have noticed you got this plural stuff going on, then you got the singular stuff. And so the default explanation has been Trinity. Yeah. I would say if that's the only verse that was like this, you could probably get away with that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The problem is that it, is, that it, is, it isn't. If you go over to Genesis 11, let me just read this. It says, and the Lord, and it's, it's the divine name, it's Yahweh, because yeah. it's all small caps. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower, which the children of man had built. This is the Tower of Babel yes. passage. So the Lord comes down, Yahweh comes down to, hey, what, let's check this out. And the Lord said, behold, they're all one people. They have all one language. This is only the beginning of what they will do. And nothing they propose to do will now be impossible for them. And I'll catch this. Come, let us go down. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. He was already down. So if the us here is the Trinity, like all three persons <laughs> should be there. Exactly. <laughs> okay. You know, it, it, I mean, if God is one, that just sounds kind of weird. Now, yeah. what, what he's referring to is, again, the heavenly host. And so... Okay. There, there are a lot of reasons to take the heavenly host in Genesis 1, 26, where God, when he says, let's create humankind in our image, he's, he's speaking to a group, yes. the only, his other family, really, you know, yeah. because humans haven't been created yet. And he's making an announcement about what he you know, wants to do. And when, when it comes down to doing it, you don't have humanity created by many gods. Yes. I mean, that's, that's history channel theology right there, okay? <laughs> You don't have humanity created by many gods. You have singular creation sure. verbs all over the Hebrew Bible, but especially right there. So, you know, we, the, 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 the Trinity thing, again, it doesn't work when you start to bring in other passages here. And not only that, but why would God have to make an announcement to the other members of the Trinity? They're, they didn't learn anything. You know, yeah. like we don't need the announcement. We, we already exactly. know because we're like, you know, we're you too, you know. It, so is that point to the, the partnership? I mean, he, he obviously, you mentioned it before, family, partnership. Right. So why are the plurals there? Yeah. Now, I think to answer that adequately, and you know, we'll, we'll try to condense it here. You have to understand what the image is. Okay. I, I am opposed to the qualitative view of the image, that the image okay. refers to a quality an attribute given to, to, to humans because and there's lots of reasons to oppose this, but it, it cannot be said that all humans at all stages of life's existence have these, whatever this quality is. And there's a whole grocery list of them. Theologians have proposed, you know, self-awareness, the ability mm -hmm. to pray, language. I mean, there's like 12, 15 of these. Okay. The, but the biblical teaching is that whatever the image is, it's not bestowed incrementally. It distinguishes humanity from everything else in, in, the, in, in the earthly creation okay. here. And it's, you know, both male and female, it, there, there's, no, there's no growth in it. It doesn't develop. So there's no development. Right. There's no stages. It's there. It's just it's, there. Boom. To be human yeah. is to be whatever this is. And if you make it a quality, you can't say those things. I see. You know, the, the little multi-celled thing in the, you know, in the woman's womb there, it's not praying. Okay, yeah. it's not communing with God. It's not self-aware. I mean, it's none of these things. Sure. These are, a lot of these are all actually linked to brain function, and and this view has actually been used by ethicists, 
some of whom will call themselves Christian, but many who won't, to say, look, this that means life isn't sacred. I mean, you Christians are crazy. Life isn't sacred until you get brain development. Sure. And all, you know, it, it, it really has dark ethical implications, but we mm -hmm. don't realize that because we're, we're just sort of taught yes. to think this way. And I'm, a, I'm opposed to that. What, it, what the image really is, it's not a quality. The image is a status or function. Okay. And again, you could read Unseen Realm for the, the Hebrew grammatical reasons for this, but we are, we are better off translating the passage, let us create humankind as our image. Okay, to, okay. to represent, you know... What, so something d distinct, completely distinct from every... Because he had just created yeah. other... Exactly. species, other animals. This is, the lone, this is the lone creation on earth that is now going to be my proxy. Okay. It's going to represent me. It's as though, this is why, this has big implications. This is why idolatry is insane in biblical theology. We don't need to make idols. Yeah. Okay, we are the representation of God. Okay, so, we, so you're God saying supposed, we're his idol. Right. God is supposed to be... Now that's going to trip some people up, well, that, it, that it thought will, process. Right. If you, if you think about it you know, perversely like God is supposed to worship. Yeah. No, no, no. I don't mean... But I just we mean even his, that concept. Right. We are his visible representation. You know, and, and Jesus is the ultimate imager. He that has seen yeah. me has seen the Father. I mean, that's the nth degree, the ultimate yes. example of this. But, but the idea is the same, that God puts us here to function in his place... Okay, as his partner. Yeah. And, and the plurals are essentially that what we do here to represent our creator mimes or imitates, reflects, mm -hmm. is in sync with the family he created in the spiritual world. Huh. So the, the plurals actually link us to them, to the heavenly host, yes. and to God in some way. And the, the some way is the, there's, it's this symbiotic relationship, this as in heaven, as... God's family and bureaucracy and mm -hmm. partnerships working up there, that's the way it's supposed to work down yeah. here. And, you know, we know that that gets undermined and destroyed with sure. the fall, and we've got rebellions in the supernatural world. I mean, it, the, the whole thing explodes, you know, in the early chapters of Genesis, yeah. and then it carries through to Revelation. But, but this is really what's going on with the plural. I like to use the illustration, you know, to... It, it, I'm a single... I, I'm, I'm Mike. I'm one guy. If I walk in a room and say, hey, let, let us get pizza, let us get yeah. lunch, okay? That does sound really good, by the way. There you go. Especially pizza. <laughs> For sure. Okay, see, now I'm hopelessly distracted. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but if, we, if I do that and I choose the toppings, I choose the, the place we get yes. it, I pay, we go in my car to get yeah. it, but I let you eat, you got the idea, yes. okay? It's, it's this thing where... God doesn't lose his unique creator status sure. here. Sure. But what he's doing is he's looping other parts mm -hmm. of creation in with it. You know, he's announcing this to the, his heavenly host. There's what we're going to do. He's the only one that does it. And this is consistent in the Hebrew Bible. Yeah. Verbs of creation where humanity is the object of creation are, are always singular. Or yeah. They're always singular. You, know, you, you never have this, again, the gods are participating. You know, like, yeah. You don't have that. That is. There's only pagan. one creator. Only one creator. That's pagan polytheism. So, even the, even though you have the plural language here, the, the text is very clear. Yeah. God is the only creator of the world and human beings. Yeah. But the plurals are important because they connect That's good. that world and this world.